Don, let's say Trump wins again, which obviously, we, look, we have to have him or any of the Republicans to win to keep him out of prison. So that, that is a, there's, there's no options to lose now. Where do we get the people that have to be put into this federal government? Because we have so many scumbags, even from his administration. Bill Barr can't stop trash at the guy every single day on TV now. He made him AG. Every day, Bill Barr is on, on NBC telling the world what a piece of trash Trump is. Where can we find decent people to take critical roles like AG, like head of the FBI? Do they exist? Yeah, they, they exist. Uh, you know, I, I think that's the one thing that, you know, coming in as an outsider, that's the one thing we did not know. Uh, and, and frankly, there's a there's a big learning curve. You know, you saw that the first two years of his presidency, we had the White House, we had the House, we had the Senate, and they got almost nothing done. You know, Paul Ryan, a Republican, uh, you know, basically prevented the funding of the wall to get that going because he wanted to be invited to the cool person party in Washington, D.C. at Christmas. Sorry, uh, over the holidays. I, I don't want to uh, uh, offend anyone. <laughs> uh, it, that would be part of, you know, that party. But that's what it was. So, you know, it took a while to figure that out. You go in there, you assume that, hey, these people want what's right for our country. I used to think that of many Democrats. Hey, maybe we disagree on some things, but we still want what's best for our country. If you've been watching, that's not true anymore. The hills that the radical left today, and that's everyone that's in power, there may be moderate, good, blue-collar Democrats out there in America, Jesse, but they have no actual representation because you can't win without the Soros money or the L.A. money or the New York money or other money to get elected. So you, you have the inmates running the asylum, you know, whether it's the trans crap, the you know, men and women's sports, every level of lunacy, just total, you know, release all the criminals, what could possibly go wrong? It never ends. And so it took a long time to realize that these people don't care about their country. It's not their duty and they're serving. That's all They're serving themselves. They've done so very well and they're going after Trump because he's the only threat to the power that they've amassed. If you took these people from government and you put them into a regular job, 99% of them would absolutely fail. And yet they're some of the most powerful people in the world with never having signed the front of a paycheck, never having made payroll, never have had any real responsibility. They've been great at being bureaucrats. They're like Anthony Fauci. He was never the best doctor. He was probably not even an average doctor, but he was sure good at taking credit for something that was a success. He was good at getting on TV. He was good at making himself a hero, even though he'd been wrong about everything for 40 years. That's where we are. And so it took a long time to figure that out. But now we know, now we've seen it. And that's why they're going after Trump far more than they even did while he was president. Now, because they know that if Trump armed with that information, with that knowledge, with that experience, is a true threat to the deep state and to the uni party. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. But you can. All you have to do is become a First TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand, and it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.